Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So today I'm gonna to be doing a get ready with me. I'm gonna do my makeup using all clean natural beauty products as always. I'm gonna do my hair and I'm gonna show you guys my outfit, which is an outfit that I have been wearing nonstop. It's like my go-to summer outfit. And I thought I would also just kind of give you a life update, tell you what I've been up to, what my plans are for the future. So I've already done my skincare and I'm just going to start with my makeup. I'm actually going to put a towel down because I'm wearing all white and that can be very dangerous. So I'm using the Fit Glow Beauty Foundation in F2.5. Now I did a question and answer on my Instagram stories and you guys had so many questions. So I answered a lot of them on my Instagram and I saved them to a highlight reel. But I know a lot of you don't follow me on Instagram so I thought I would just give you some life updates here. So one of the biggest questions that you guys keep asking me is, when is the wedding? Are you planning the wedding? How are you and Will doing? So I thought I would answer that today. Me and Will are doing very well. We are doing the whole long distance thing still. And honestly, we haven't planned for the wedding yet. We haven't planned for the wedding. And I think I just get a little bit overwhelmed. I mean, there's gonna be a lot of big changes. I'm going to be moving to the United States. So there's just a lot of paperwork that we'll have to fill out. So we were thinking maybe we would do more of an elopement to get the paperwork started this year. And then next year we could do a bigger wedding. I would be happy with just an elopement, but I do really want to wear a beautiful wedding gown. We just have a lot of things we need to think about, but I will keep you guys up to date. I'm gonna put a little bit more here. And speaking of wedding dresses, I have not found my wedding dress yet. There's two dresses that I'm absolutely in love with, but they are a little bit pricey. Now I'm just applying some of the Fit Glow Beauty Concealer in 2.5, and I'm just gonna apply a little bit under my eyes. So if we have a bigger wedding, we haven't really confirmed a spot where we would have it, but it would more than likely be somewhere in Florida, like Miami because a lot of his family is in Florida. My brother and sister-in-law are in Florida. And I think it would just be a lot easier on everybody for travel. So now I'm gonna take this Ceramide Cream Bronzing Palette by Fit Glow. And I'm just gonna bronze up my skin a bit because my body and my face are not matching. My body is so tan. I've been working on my, on my little tan, but I never tan my face or my neck. So. It's just a stark difference. I'm gonna take some of that darker shade and I'm just going to apply it like this and kind of give me a little bit of a bronzed glow. Kind of put a lot on there. <laughs> but yeah, I am very, very excited to marry Will. I'm so excited to start a family very soon and you know make that holistic mommy content for you guys i forgot i wanted to take some of this night lip oil serum and just apply it to my lips so that that can soak in while i'm doing my makeup and then at the end when i do my lips my lips will be nice and moisturized now i have this cream blush palette by fit glow beauty this is their freshly picked palette and this is hard for me to choose a blush you guys i am the most indecisive person and choosing a blush right now is very difficult i'm gonna take some of this one and just apply it kind of a little bit higher up like that Look a little bit crazy, but that's okay. A little bit on the nose. And then just kind of blend that in with my blender. Blender? <laughs> Do I have blush blindness, you guys? Because I just love applying a lot of blush. Now moving on to eyebrows, I'm going to use the Ilia Brow Pencil in Taupe. This is now my holy grail brow pencil. I love it so much. 
and I'm just going to brush up my brows been trying to really use castor oil every day to grow my brows and my eyelashes and speaking of eyelashes so I actually got PRK surgery about four months ago I'm gonna do a whole video on that because it was quite the experience it was a long recovery for me but honestly so worth it it was the best thing I've one of the best things I've ever done for myself and one thing I noticed was I had to use a ton of eye drops and I was using these thick gel drops that had hyaluronic acid. And I've noticed that my eyelashes are pretty long right now. I feel like the using the hyaluronic acid eye drops grew my lashes. I don't know if I'm just seeing things or if that's actually what happened. Another question I got asked a lot was how am I going to wear my hair for the wedding to be honest i think for a wedding i would wear my hair in an updo because if i wear my hair down i would love to wear my hair down and have some you know big voluminous curls or big beachy waves but i think after half an hour my hair just wouldn't look the same it would get really frizzy it would get really matted so i think i would like to have an updo and then just be able to have it stay in place all night not have to worry about it getting matted and i think it would look really elegant so i recently was a bridesmaid at my cousin's wedding and i will insert a shot of the hairstyle the hairstylist did on me because i really liked that so maybe i would do something like that and that hairstyle actually inspired this side part that i did because for the last year or two i've been parting my hair down the middle and then doing my braid but she did a little side thing and i think it just kind of maybe frames my face a bit better kind of tones down my forehead oh yes you guys asked about what i plan on doing with my hair like is there any changes i'm gonna make because i have literally worn my hair in this long no layered hairstyle for years and you guys i am kind of getting sick of it because i really only wear my hair in a braid or a side ponytail like this but i don't really wear it down because i feel like it just hangs there it just kind of is so heavy it just is so weighed down that it doesn't really frame my face so i have been thinking about doing a big chop and maybe adding some layers you know when i got bangs i promised myself i would never get bangs again but maybe some long kind of curtain style bangs what do you guys think i should do because on one hand I love having the long hair because I can do all the hair art with it with my mom. I just think it looks so much more impressive when it's all one length and really long. But then on a day-to-day -day basis, I'm tired of just wearing my hair the same every single day. I would love to have like a little bit of, um, of the length cut off and a little bit of layers put in there to give it some volume and some texture and some shape. So yeah, I don't know what to do because I'm worried that if I do the big chop, I'm gonna regret it and then it's gonna take me five years to grow it out again. But I also feel like I'm entering a new stage in my life. Hopefully I'm gonna be a mom soon. I'm gonna be getting married and maybe a big chop is what I need. And when I say a big chop, I don't mean up to here. I just mean you know, probably up to my belly button and have some layers. So let me know your guys' thoughts on that. And now for my eyes, something I've been doing lately is taking a little bit of this highlighter color from this bronze flip fit go from this bronzed fit glow palette. And I'm just applying a little bit to my eyelids just to brighten it up. And there's this beautiful bronze one as well. I might just apply a little bit of that and kind of blend that in. I'm really not an eyeshadow person at all, but I think this cream highlighter just kind of brightens up the eye. And then I'm gonna switch it up for you guys cause I bet you were expecting me to do a black li liquid, li linged, liquid winged eyeliner but today I'm going to just do a small, small smidge of this brown eyeliner pencil. Just going to apply a little bit, kind of just 
the corner of my eye and then you can kind of bring it out a bit like that and then take this brush and just kind of wing it out and I feel like it's just a very soft look And then I'll apply a little bit of this Ficlo Mascara. Now onto the lips, I'm just going to remove the lip serum. And then of course I am using the Ficlo Beauty Lip Liner in Buff, my all-time favorite lip liner. I am very excited because in two days I'm going to be going up to Kitimat to my parents' place and we are going to create a bunch of new hair art and Will is going to come up in a couple weeks as well and he's going to help out with the hair art and maybe design one himself. So I'm looking forward to that. I'll be posting them on Instagram, maybe YouTube shorts and I do want to do a behind the scenes video like I did last year. That video I filmed in Kitimat last year was probably one of my all-time favorite YouTube videos I've ever filmed. I think it was called Magical Hometown Adventure with my boyfriend or something. Well now it's Magical Hometown Adventure with my fiance. What do you think I should wear for accessories? I have these little everyday diamond hoops that I always wear or else I could do these thicker gold hoops. Something like that. I recently bought these lily clasp earrings that I had been eyeing for so long and I decided to make this splurge. I was like, they will be my wedding earrings. But I don't know if these would, would, I wouldn't wear them on my actual wedding day, but I just thought, you know, for outfits surrounding my wedding. But these are really fun. It's like a gold shell and then it has this beautiful freshwater pearl in it. So that's a bit more of a statement. I really like these. Maybe I'll leave these for now. So I do really like this side ponytail that I have going on, but I think to switch it up a bit, I'm gonna do a braided braid. So I'll show you how I'm gonna do that. So I'm gonna take my ponytail out. And I don't know if I should do the middle part or stick to this side part. I might stick to the side part for fun. So I'm going to start by putting my hair in a ponytail. And then I have this little topsy tool that I'm going to use. So what I do is I take a strand of hair and go around my elastic like this. And then I bring it through like that. And then I pull on the topsy tool. And now I'm just going to separate my hair into three. And then I'm gonna braid each of these strands. Now I have the three braids and I will just braid them. Okay, there we go. And then I'm just going to take this elastic, place it right there, and I can undo these. And this will have kind of a long tail. I actually have a bit of a flyaway up here, so maybe I'll put the and the braid right here. And then I will take this topsy tool again, place it right here, take a bit of hair. That is the hair. It's just kind of a twist on the normal braid. Now it's time for the outfit. And I have been going through a major 
linen phase this summer so i'm trying to completely switch over not buy any clothes made out of polyester and just buy clothes made out of natural fibers like linen cotton silk wool cashmere and i do plan on making a video to explain this choice of mine but for now let's just look at this gorgeous white dream linen dress that i bought okay so here are the dresses you guys this is a 100 percent organic linen dress i love it so much i found it at aritzia it's their wilfred influence dress but unfortunately i think it's all sold out but you might find somebody returns one and then you can snatch one up i love this waistline it is my dream dress i know i say that about every dress but this truly is my dress of the summer love it so i'm gonna wear these birkenstock big buckle sandals to keep it kind of casual and cool goes very well with the linen and then i'm trying to decide on a bag so i have this zen justine raffia basket bag this gives very farmer's market vibes or else i have this paulette in camel this really goes with it as well. I think maybe the raffia bag. Alright guys, well that is the end of my get ready with me. I hope you enjoyed the video. I had a lot of fun filming it. I love you guys so much. Make sure to sign up for my email list down below because I have something very, 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 very exciting coming up and you will be the first to know if you sign up for my email list. I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye!